Yes, I'm an award-winning scientist, senior lecturer, and a football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. Nothing in this video is financial advice. Just a quick look at the markets. Bitcoin is hovering above 51K. I think there is some sustained buy pressure here from the ETFs. But remember folks, it's not just US. It's many, many countries trying to get into uh, Bitcoin. There are many, many other ETFs, sovereign individuals, sovereign wealth funds. There is simply not enough Bitcoin. The halving is coming pretty soon. We are entering into something I call a super cycle. Contrary to majority of the YouTubers and influencers, I think we have been in a bull market for almost a year now. There has been very, very rare month where Bitcoin has not really gained 5-10% uh, gains, if you remember from 17k. So I think the bull market is about to end, contrary to what majority of other YouTubers think. I do think there is still a blow off top that is coming, but the bull market will end before anyone realizes it. So I'm going to be telling you my strategy. I think I'm going to be taking my profits. This cycle, I much rather keep money rather than lose everything. Everyone is saying bull market is about to start. Everyone is saying we are going to 150k, 200k. Kathy Wood is saying we are going to 600k. Let me tell you, if everyone thinks like that, everyone is usually wrong. So you need to be in a minority mindset. So what is your minority viewpoint? Do tell me in the comments. Let's get started with the video. So Ethereum just crossed uh, 3000. I think this is build up to the ETH Denver conference, which is going on. There will be many, many, many announcements there. I think it is an easy uh, trade if you're a trader. There is something which I want to bring your attention to is basically Uniswap now uh, proposing a fee sharing model. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange. You can actually launch any token, but uh, more and more, I think they are getting permissioned. They are getting to a stage where they will be permissioned. But I think this is the next generation of innovation here in this space that every protocol will share its revenue with its users, its takers. The amount of fees shared by Uniswap is not as much as compared to let's say Vortex protocol. This is one of the picks of my alpha discord. We were DCAing around 24 cents, but we are actually getting USDC. So if you stake Vortex, you get USDC rewards. I think it is somewhere around 30 to 40% variable depending upon the users, but I do see this protocol to do really, really well in future. The second uh, protocol that we have been accumulating and staking uh, since it was 2.5 is DYDX. So DYDX version 4 has moved to Cosmos and they share 100% of their revenue with the stakers of the protocol. So what Uniswap is doing, Vortex, DYDX and many many other protocols are already doing. Osmosis is another one. So Osmosis is a decentralized exchange in Cosmos and again they share their protocol revenue with the stakers. So this concept is nothing new. Uniswap is coming late to the party, but because it is such a big exchange, it is creating a splash. Another massive win. We were accumulating Cody in our alpha discord when it was 0.03. So again, a massive, massive win. We have pulled a five to six X already on this pick. Cody is gonna revolutionize the payment ecosystem. Uh, if you are a business owner, banks make a killing. They charge you at every small transaction. It is pretty criminal to be honest with you. My wife runs a business and the amount of money she has to pay for a tap, her customers pay her, it is nightmare. Honestly, Cody is gonna change all of that. In addition, they recently launched a new version of Cody where you'll have a DEX, you'll have an NFT marketplace, you can build games, you will have an AI component. Uh, I think Cody is destined to hit dollar one and beyond. By the way, a shameless plug here. If you want to become a member of my Alpha Discord, there are plenty of plans to choose from. I will leave a link to join in the description. I think we have found another three or four gems of picks, which will do very well in the coming uh, bowl. If you want to find out those picks, do join the server. Prices are increasing from 1st of March. There will be a 50% increase of the prices. So if you want to lock these prices for a year, Please hurry up and I'll see you in the Discord. Another massive win for the server was Stride. I gave you guys Stride when it was 20 cents and this has done sensational. It went up to uh, $7, which is just crazy. The returns we are getting on our picks, they are pretty amazing to be honest. Nothing in this video is, is financial advice, by the way. So the reason for this massive pump was they launched STTIA. The TVL quickly jumped to 50 million in few days, which is just crazy. However, one thing people don't realize is tried stakers earn real yield. 
So Stripe charges 10% fees for liquid staking functionality that it provides out of that 10%, 8.5% goes to the Stripe stakers and 1.5% goes to Atom Cosmos Hub stakers. So this is real yield. The more TVL Stride gets, the more real yield Stride stakers will get. There will be a point where amount of real yield will be so massive that it will become a no-brainer to stake Stride. Also, the supply is only 100 million. So very, very sound tokenomics. We also uh, got a massive airdrop of Dimension. Step-by-step -step guides on how to qualify for all these airdrops is available in my server. We also made massive money with, with Celestia airdrop. It is pretty crazy. Even when it was launched at 1.98, I was asking my community to get into it for further airdrops, for example, the Dimension uh, airdrop. And again, we massively benefited from that knowledge. The last thing I want to talk to you, although I'm not really that interested, but still, there is a lot of Satoshi emails that have been released. And one of the emails actually say, instead of calling Bitcoin, let's call it Titcoin. So T-I-T-C-O-I-O-N, which I think would have been really, really funny if BlackRock and all these ETFs, all these banks, JP Morgans, are buying into Titcoin. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all I have to say for this uh, Lazy Sunday video. Let me know what your thoughts are on Cody, on Vertex, on Stride, on Dimension, and also on Celestia. Where do you think they are heading? I think Celestia is heading to excess of $50, not financial advice, before the unlock happens in October. And similarly, I think Dimension is also heading towards $20, $30 before the unlock happens, because the moment first airdrop is announced for Dimension stakers, people will stake Dimension. Also, the DEX is launching soon. The AMM is launching soon. So people would need to bind the Dimension tokens with other uh, pairs to provide liquidity. That will cause a lot of buy pressure on the Dimension token itself. So keep an eye on that, stake your Dimension, vote in the proposals, and I'll see you in the next video.